Hey everyone, it's Ricardo here and I'm back with another video. Today we're diving deep into the world of underwater manipulation. I'm gonna show you how I took a simple image of a shark and turned it into something truly epic. Now I know what you are thinking, underwater manipulation, that sounds complicated. But don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm gonna break down my process step by step so you can follow along and create your stunning images. So grab a cup of coffee, get comfortable and let's jump right in. We will start by turning this uh, photo into underwater mood. For that I will use this image and I will select the background layer and I will go to image adjustments and match color. Here in source we will select the underwater edit which is the file that I'm currently working on and the layer I will select the underwater layer because I want to pick the colors from this image and as you can see Photoshop already created some environment uh, colors around it I will change the color intensity so I will drag this slider to the left I will also want this image a little bit more darker and I think I will just slightly change here the fade. Hit OK and I will hide this image for now and as you can see it's already uh, in that tone. Alright, now with the underwater layer selected I will move and scale it up to something like this and OK, now I will turn this off and on my background layer I will select here the select menu and select sky and now that I have the everything on my sky selected I can turn on this uh, layer again and I will mask and there you go now we have our sky replaced by the underwater image as you can see and now let's add our main subject with that will be this scary shark and let's adjust it and I thinking that okay I sh you will pass here it's really a big shark and a scary one it okay now we need to mask this part because I don't want to see this part of the shark because it's coming on top of the building so I will select the shark mask it and there you go and we will apply the same effect um, to make the, the same tone as we have here on our underwall underwater image so image adjustment match color and here on source let's select underwater edit and again the image okay but this is too bluish so let's reduce the color intensity also the luminance and I will increase here the fade because I don't want the image so bluish so now to make this more realistic we need to add some reflections and for that I will duplicate this layer just right here and put it here okay I think maybe the reflection could be something like then we need to apply the mask so I will just decrease here the opacity so with the polygonal lasso tool I will create here the masking and I will delete this part okay and I, I will get back the opacity into 100 and now I will double click here on my shark duplicated layer and I will drag the sliders of the underlying layer so that we have this reflection then we will lower the opacity 
okay just like so now with the move tool we can click an old command to make the perspective because the perspective it's a little bit different from what we are seeing because the the building is vertical okay and now i will lower the opacity of the shark okay now let's do the same thing for this building so i will duplicate this delete the layer mask i will go to edit transform and flip horizontally and we can do it already the transformation so maybe something like this and now double click here in the layer and try to adjust with the color blending modes with the, the blend if tool there you go reduce a little bit the opacity I think it's very cool like that so now let's add some highlights and shadows to our shark for that let's select here our main shark and give some levels adjustment layer clip it to the mask and we can increase here now let's invert the layer and start painting the highlights Assuming that the sun is coming from top, of course. Just like so. Now let's do the same for the shadows. Now test a new and saturation first. So let's hit colorize, change here, the saturation, and change the blending mode to linear dodge add. Now invert and let's do it, just like so. make it more realistic there you go now let's do the opposite Let's add a levels layer and add some shadows on it. Okay, now what do you need to do? We, we need also to add some shadows here. So I will select levels and darken the image. And now do it something like this. Reduce the flow and start doing some shadows okay 
Now I want to darken also here. Okay, now we need also to make some reflection here to, to the ground. So assuming that the bridge stops here, we need only to put it uh, the shadow here down below. Something like this. And I want to add another level layer and darken the full image. So something like this to create depth. And on top of that, we are almost finishing. So I want to make the image light so something like this because we will have some lights coming from top Just like so. That's a wrap guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on creating an epic underwater manipulation using Photoshop. If you find this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you up in the next one.